Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First Midvale and Newport United Methodist Church bringing you a devotional today out of the book of Malachi in Malachi 1, verse 6. It says, A son honors his father and a servant their master. If I am the father, where is the honor due to me? And if I am the master, where is the respect due to me? Says the Lord of hosts to you, O priest who despise my name. You say, How have we despised your name? By offering food polluted on the altar, and you say, how have we polluted it? By thinking that the Lord's table may be despised. And, and this is a, a rebuke against the priest of Israel who were supposed to be the moral guides of Israel, who were supposed to stand up for his command, who were supposed to follow his word, who were supposed to teach others to do the same. And they were the ones leading the rebellion against God. And he says, if I am this father that you preach of, if I am this master that you preach of, and understand that is something that the religious leaders would often talk about. They would often see God as the master over all. They would often see God as the father of all and they would tell others to give him this honor they would tell others to serve him they would tell others to follow him all the while they are doing stuff behind the scenes they are doing great evils behind the scenes and they are leading attacks against the lord and then it talks about their sins of not respecting god's table of polluting the altar offering polluted food but really what it comes down to is they broke god's law they fell from god's standard there is nothing more frustrating to me or nothing that grieves me more than when I see people who are supposed to be following God and they are the ones that are leading the attack against God and against his word. We as people of God, especially those of us who are called to be leaders, must maintain the integrity of the scriptures in our lives and we must teach it to others. We must teach them to follow it as well. We cannot to present a distorted gospel because I promise you a distorted gospel a distorted word of God won't save anyone and it actually condemns those that are preaching it and so my message for you today is a simple one as it often is and that is to give God the honor to that is due his name to give him the respect he deserves to honor his word and to teach others to do the same amen